Three things. One, today we're gonna talk about my winter sleep system and shelter. Two, it's a collaboration video with four other awesome YouTubers. And three, I bought a new hat. What's going on guys? My name is Dan. I love hiking. I love backpacking. I love gear. If you love that stuff too, would you consider subscribing to the channel? Today, we're going to talk about my winter sleep system and shelter. So this is a collaboration video with a few other awesome YouTubers in order for you guys to see what each of us do around different parts of the country for our winter backpacking systems. Each of us has chosen to do something different. In my video, I decided to talk about my sleep system and my shelter because they're pretty much the same thing. I know there's snow on the ground here in Wisconsin, but two weeks ago I was in central Indiana backpacking and it got down to 25 degrees. So in a minute, I'm gonna take you over to that video where I was filming all of my winter gear setup for you guys so you can see exactly what I did to stay comfortable. After you've stuck around through my video and seen my setup, make sure you check out these other awesome YouTube channels for their winter gear systems and see exactly what they use to stay comfortable as well. Backcountry Exposure, Amy Rout, The Wasatch Gear Review, and the Backpack Blazer. The goal of this collaboration is to get you to see what other awesome YouTube channels and other awesome backpackers are doing for their winter setups in different parts of the country because we all know that that can make a big difference. So let's head on over to Indiana. So today I'm hiking in the Charles Dean Wilderness. It's not really winter here. I'm in mid-Indiana, just south of Indianapolis, and it's about 30, 40 degrees right now. Last night it got down to about 25 degrees, and I'm just gonna walk you through a little bit what I've got as far as a winter setup. So if you follow my channel at all, you're gonna know that I'm a hammock camper and I'm also a tent camper when I hang out with my kids. So today we're obviously hammock camping and my go-to hammock is the Warbonnet Ridge Runner hammock. So I've got the hammock gear Cuban fiber tarp with doors and I chose the camouflage version. I use this all year long. I don't just use it in winter time just because it's so lightweight. It's got doors on there, it definitely blocks the wind. Holds some heat in, not really too much, but it's definitely better than having the wind blow on you all night long when it's icy cold out. I use Dutch clips just because they're easy, lightweight, and they work really well to be able to connect the tree straps around the tree and just connect almost like a carabiner. So thanks for joining me underneath the tarp. I went with a 20 degree setup for this weekend. I knew that the weather wasn't gonna be horrid. We knew that it was gonna be a pretty warm-ish weekend for winter it wasn't supposed to get below 25 degrees and that's exactly what happened so i'll just kind of walk you through and show you i've got a enlightened equipment revelation quilt i love this quilt it's fantastic weighs about 19 ounces and i'll try to remember all the weights of the stuff that i'm talking about and i'll throw it up on the screen as we go through i love that it's got an orange interior because i can find things easily when I'm at night. It's just a great backdrop for things that I'm looking for. Obviously, you guys know I love the Trekology pillow. Half the price of a Cedar Summit pillow works out really well. I chose a bridge hammock because I am claustrophobic in hammocks, if you've ever watched any of my previous videos, and this helps me see outside of the hammock pretty easily, and I can kind of look both ways. It doesn't wrap up around me. It's just really nice. Underneath, I have a Warbonnet Lynx underquilt. This is a 20 degree underquilt. It is made specifically for the Warbonnet Ridge Runner. It is the only quilt that will fit the Warbonnet Ridge Runner. And if you're looking to try to use your own quilt, it's not going to work. You have to actually buy a Warbonnet specific quilt in order for it to work. In order to save weight, I use my trekking poles as spreader bars. And this brand here, the Mountain Smith Trekker FX Camera Mount trekking pole is the only trekking pole that I'm able to find that will fit this Ridge Runner or any bridge hammock for that matter. If you guys know of any other trekking poles, let me know. These aren't the best trekking poles. They're not the worst. They weigh about 10 ounces each. They are the twist locks, which I'm not a huge fan of. I've never had them really slip on me, but I definitely like something a little bit lighter. But that's able to save weight because then I can leave the spreader bars that come with the Ridge Runner at home. One addition I did make to the hammock is I did add a Ridgeline myself. I went on to DutchWearGear.com and I bought some AmSteel. Then I just bought these hooks that he sells 
and this way I can attach it to the ridge runner and use it as a ridge line helps me hang stuff because this hammock does not come with the ridge line and what that also does is it closes up the a-frame a little bit more of the bridge hammock and then allows me to be able to close the doors so that the wind doesn't come through on the outside of the hammock I use for guidelines these tarp worms and I just use some reflectix this is real similar to zingin it's just got a little bit of reflective cord in there there we go it just comes loose like it just did if you pull on it really it's a no tie system so all I'm doing is I can put a stake in the ground hook these tarp worms onto this guy line here you can just hook it up underneath and it stays pretty good on top, I have these tarp pole mods. What this does is a couple things. One, it just gives me a little bit more room inside of the hammock because it pulls this tarp open, but then also it allows the hammock to be able to swing a little bit more because those spreader bars, I definitely don't want hitting the inside of the tarp because I don't want it to poke a hole in this tarp. So these are a great addition. They only weigh, I believe, about four ounces for the pair. When I'm not expecting any inclement weather, I can roll up my tarp in this mesh tarp sleeve. This is a pretty cool tarp sleeve. It's actually less weight than the Cuban fiber version, but it allows the tarp to dry out slightly. And I know that if you're gonna crumple up your tarp, you're always gonna have water inside of it. This helps a little bit. The only complaint I have with this mesh tarp skin is that it can kind of be difficult to pull across, almost like it's not made wide enough. And so this tarp may be just a little bit too bulky. So it does take a little bit of effort to open it and close it. I do use a Dutchware continuous ridge line with the Dutchware Wasp as well. And I already know I'm gonna get a bunch of comments asking me why I put the ridge line underneath the tarp. Yes, I do know that rain can go underneath tonight it's not supposed to rain at all there's a zero percent chance one i left it this way for my last hike but two i can utilize this as a ridge line as well underneath and be able to hang a lantern off i like the lantern up a little bit higher for me and that just helps me see a little bit better helps me see outside and so that's why i do that if i do want to avoid rain i will hang some sort of a drip line to the outside on the ridge line here and that will stop the drip all right guys i know you're probably asking yourself what if the weather's really cold what if it's below 20 degrees what do you do then in that case all I'm really doing is switching out my quilt I have a zero degree hammock gear top quilt that I use I don't have anything lower than a 20 degree under quilt for this hammock but what I can do is I also have a Costco quilt that I will fold in half and then I will lay it inside the top of the under quilt and in right in between my hammock and that 20 degree quilt and that will get me down to about exactly where I need to be all right guys, so that's what I do for my winter sleep system and shelter. Make sure you check out these other awesome YouTube channels, Backcountry Exposure, the Wasatch Gear Review, the Backpack Blazer, and also Amy Route for their winter systems that they decided to talk about as well. If you like this video, would you please hit that like button? Also, make sure you subscribe for more and hit that bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released, and we will see you on the next one.